All right, I received a question on how to assemble the components for the self-impelled vacuum dust shoe. So these are the various components once you print them out. This is the impeller. The, um, what I call the manifold or standpipe, which brings the air from uh, the spindle up and out. This would be the outlet tube that connects to standard hose. The um, this part is just to retain the, the standpiper manifold onto the CNC head. This is what is called as the brush ring. I call it the brush ring because it doesn't have a uh, TPU bellows ring, which is what makes it flexible. So on the brush ring, the assembly just requires a um, piece of strip brush to be cut so that it fits inside of the grooves and it's glued in place. The bellows attachment is the same way. Uh, because this was my prototype, I only cut one set of uh, strip brushes and I left them permanently mounted on this one, but I'm going to add them here. Um, but you can see the groove. That groove is where the strip brush is glued in. Um, in terms of gluing the bellows together, this square piece is the bottom ring in the models, and the top piece is called the top ring. That's the part that screws onto the bottom using the uh, retaining clips. And so the way that the bellows is mounted, it's simply inserted into the groove. It's a little bit flexible, so you're gonna have to work a little bit on it and just glue it in place. Okay, that's really as hard as it is. Um, putting it all together. I'm not sure if this is part of what you wanted to see. It's hard to do with one hand, but when it's mounted onto the snapmaker, the uh, standpipe is around the spindle. The because it's upside down, it's not going to go flat. So the impeller is mounted. The flared section is for your fingers to be able to pull it. You may have to work it a little bit to get it to fit. And because I'm on a video, it's hard for me to see, but it just slips on like that. There are little retaining clips on the inside of this that help to keep it in place. And, uh, you know, the different depending on your application, you would slide and uh, rotate the attachments on to keep them in place. And that's all there is. Hopefully this is helpful. And let me know if uh, you guys need any more help. All right, bye.